Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesday. I'm Lisa, and it's so good to be here with you, isn't it? I'm glad that you are joining me today. Um, before we go any further, would you please like, share, or actually subscribe to my YouTube channel. It would be such a great support for me. Today, I want to talk about something that uh, I know very well because I used to do the same thing. And uh, since we are approaching the Great American Smokeout on November 9th, uh, 16th, which is a, a nationwide um, day for all who want to become a non-smoker for them to stop smoking for that day. Remember, I didn't say quit because as you know, I talk about it. Our subconscious mind likes to take orders and um, takes things literally. So when we say quit and because we have been trained not to be quitters, usually we don't quit as easily. So we know what a stop is and how to stop smoking, right? So this is all about uh, an effort for joining together in order for becoming a non-smoker. November 16th, okay? So if you are here today and you are ready to make this change, make this commitment to yourself, or you're supporting someone else, by all means, please share and let someone else know that I can help them become a non-smoker. As a matter of fact, if you go to my website, healwithin.com, and if you go to the hypnotherapy page, I will put the link for you, you will see a, um, a testimonial, it's a video, and the first video is a client who came to me and in less than two sessions, she became a non-smoker and she used to smoke approximately two packs. So why am I talking about this? Because I think smoking is such an emotional thing. I know it is a habit, it is a behavior, and yet it's an emotional connection that we have with cigarette. Believe me, I started smoking since I was 12 years old and I became a non-smoker and left smoking, stopped smoking when, when I started doing hypnotherapy. Um, and yes, I have Adrian walking in and <laughs> because she wanted to give me a message, a gift that I'm going to be giving to you. So while smoking can feel like a companion sometimes, a comfort when stressed, a routine during your day, you wake up, you have a cigarette, you have coffee, you have a cigarette, you have food after food, you have a cigarette, um, everything, even smoking in the car, you have a cigarette, you get to work, you have a cigarette, before you go upstairs, you have a cigarette. So cigarette becomes a companion, right? And But what if today marked the beginning of a journey or a new chapter that you want to become a non-smoker? Actually, where you reclaim your power and you say, you know, Starting today, I choose not to be a smoker. It's truly a choice. Um, I have a whole book on this, Stomp on Smoking. It's in-depth lessons on guided visualization. Actually, the reason I'm saying this, why I wanted to, uh, why I'm bringing it is, I'm gonna give you some tips. There's gonna be seven tips on becoming a non-smoker. And why hypnosis helps because like one of the stories in my book, which was a client and it was Sam's story, um, it says, Sam's girlfriend Angela was not happy with Sam smoking and began nagging him to stop. Sam announced that he would quit on his birthday and he called me. After the first session he went home, had a good night's sleep. 
on his second session, he com confessed to me that to smoking, well, confessed to smoking, not because he enjoyed it, but out of habit, and he wanted to see if it worked or not. On his third session, he walked in smiling because he had not had a single cigarette and for the whole week. Because when they come in for stop, stop smoking, we do one session within three days, they come for the second session, and then a week later, and by the fourth session, they're already fully non-smoker. Not only Angela stopped nagging, but she also started walking with him and they started doing a lot of things together. So it changed the trajectory of the relationship. And so many other stories, testimonials that I have, even Jan Jonathan. So the choice to stop smoking or to change any habit and behavior is up to you. Um, as I said, I stopped smoking because I was going to help others and I chose not to be a smoker. So here's tip number one. I want you to find your why. Why would you want to become a non-smoker? Because uh, health factor, you already know about that. You know that tobacco has 52 solutions in there. I mean, cig cigarette. Um, there is embalming solutions. There is all kinds of things in there that is after actually like a chemicals in there. And that same thing goes someone saying, you know, I stopped cigarettes, but I'm vaping, <sighs> which is worse because this um, your saliva when it connects to the tobacco, you know, that yellow thing that happens at the end of the filter. And the same thing with vaping, when you vape and your saliva, that oil and everything, that is worse than cigarettes. Because if I were to take, which I did with a client of mine, and I said, what if I take all the things, the tobacco and everything inside from the inside? And if I were to roll back and empty the cigarette, would you smoke the paper? And they said, no, because I want the, the, the hit, the smoke, the tobacco. Well, it's not only tobacco. If you want real tobacco, that's the cigar and the good cigars. So vaping is as bad. I know it is for your health but you want to live longer and it is a setting a positive example for a loved one stop smoking or even dropping weight and everything those are all emotional connections to the habit or the behavior that we have once we shift the emotional connection to the cigarette to the food which you crave or you eat the things that you do orally or even the alcohol minus water then you understand shifting that emotional connection to the habit and the behavior is the beginning of choosing a better healthier lifestyle okay so i know once you visualize yourself as a non-smoker because that's what you used to be until you started smoking. When did you start smoking? Um, what was the factor that made you start smoking? So all that has a lot. And yes, it's part therapy, part hypnosis. And I can literally take someone from A to Z in, in one session and some become a non-smoker. By the second session, they are a non-smoker. So the second step, working with a client, I say, set a date when you want to become a non-smoker. Just like the great American smoke out that on November 16, they say, I'm not gonna smoke on that day. Just like when Lent happens, people who are Catholic say, okay, for 40 days, I'm not going to eat this and this and this. And believe it or not, the subconscious mind 
accepts it. And for 40 days, although the I see it, the craving is not there because the choice of I am making a sacrifice and for 40, 40 days I'm not going to do this because it is something I have embraced. It is for my religion. It is my spirituality. It is my choice for my body, right? I am doing this for and the four is so important. You get it? All right. Now, November 16, you can set that date. You can say Thanksgiving, come Thanksgiving. I want to give thanks to my health, to my family. Or there is a new baby in the house. I don't want to smoke for the baby. So choose that specific time of day because, again, why am I saying it? It is an emotional connection and the decision is very much an emotional as a matter of fact right here right now seeking support you can come to a hypnotherapist you can come to me I've been doing this for 24 years as a non-smoker today and knowing all the ramifications the emotional connection uh, the cravings how the mind plays tricks and why we want to have a cigarette as a matter of fact when I I don't have a cigarette as a matter of fact when I became a non-smoker hmm I'll give you a whole thing I used to shoot pool i've said this story so many times and i used to have a beer shoot pool and have a cigarette and for the longest time when i stopped smoking i didn't go to any uh dance hall at that time it was in cahoots because there was music dancing uh there was the dart i used to play dart and i had my own pool stick still do and i thought if i'm not smoking i can't shoot pool and if I drink, I will crave cigarettes. One has nothing to do with it. It is how we have put together. If this happens, if there is one and two makes it three or plus three, whatever. It is this boomerang effect that happens in our mind. If there is A plus B, therefore it equals C. But we also know that when we change a habit and behavior, you know, the reward is far greater. So change happens when either the pain is so bad, the doctor has said, if you don't do this, therefore this, or like Sam, the girlfriend was nagging, or the wife, or anything, or you choose. So either the pain is far greater, or the reward is far better. That's when change happens. Plus, the subconscious mind has to come to agreement. So uh, get support, get accountability. Another tip is manage managing the triggers and replacing one habit with another even drinking if you want to stop drinking you start drinking more water if you want to stop smoking drink more water why it cleanses and wash away that taste that we have on our tongue um, you can instead chew more gum or yes you can have a piece of chocolate you see this is how I eat chocolate even when I get one of those bars from Trader Joe I always take it and cut it in half one half and it's been sitting here for about three days and I haven't even had the other half so choices in how you cut you can start by if I'm smoking a pack a day to I can only smoke 10 a day I give myself permission to only smoke 10 a day and that's it and then reduce it and then reduce it unless you are ready to become a full-blown non-smoker so another thing that you do is hypnotherapy bingo 
as i say hypnotherapy because hypnosis works with your subconscious mind where all the emotional connections are there for to the habit and the behavior and i don't know why you started it but whatever it was there was an emotional connection or you saw someone you copied it you wanted to become it or someone gave it to you usually we do it when we are young you can text stomp just like stomp on smoking choose to stomp on that cigarette on that pack so text stomp to 818-221-2797 and get my free gift to you a recording for you to become a non-smoker even if you choose not to come to hypnosis as a session become my client i'm gifting you if you listen to this audio recording narrated by me with my voice every single day for 33 consecutive days you can become a non-smoker and here's the caveat you must listen to it for 33 consecutive days every night before you go to sleep every time you have half an hour of break listen to it so allow first you choose then you decide and then you start incorporating that message not only consciously but subconsciously you cannot say yes i want to do that maybe it will happen maybe it won't i'll listen to it a day or two no it is consistency and persistence that works practice self-compassion and patience remember you didn't become a smoker on one day you kept on doing it and doing it and doing it until it became a part of your behavior and then your behavior became i don't remember when i did it so have patience you can start and then if you have one cigarette it's not the end of the word the world nor your word start again another 33 days until it becomes part of your new behavior so focus on the benefits always no matter what changes we want to make we want to make a new logo we want to make a we start a new business we want to start a new job we want to start a new habit and behavior no matter what it is find the benefits of it because every day that you go smoke free it's a step towards becoming healthier and that's called pure whole wellness that's what I like to call it whole wellness you were whole you will well before you picked up this habit plus it stinks <laughs> so your body starts healing and every organ every tissue every nerve every cell in your body starts becoming healthier your lungs become healthier even your tongue your face the color changes yes your blood pressure and heart rate lower and the best thing your breathing becomes easier and you sleep better you know a part of sleep apnea i usually say what is your weight are you a smoker are you a drinker um so for those positive changes it's one of the best things that happens um if you're ready to take this journey and make this change i'm here for you i invite you to start today as a matter of fact just for today you can make that decision just for today and then on november 16th say okay i'll become part of the great american smoke out and i'm ready to do this and or thanksgiving give thanks to your body to your mind to your health and let's do this together if you'd like more personalized support i'm always here for you or for your loved ones 
And all you have to do is remember, you can just message me, call for an appointment. We can sit together, a consultation. And remember, you are never, ever alone. Um, we didn't build anything. Um, nothing happened in one day. Uh, as a matter of fact, in my book, I talk about how we are so connected emotionally to cigarettes, to the cigarette, because when we're angry, we pick it up. When we are sad, we pick it up. When we are celebrating, we pick it up. And it becomes this constant buddy system. Uh, you can find a healthier buddy system. Yeah? Because the moment you make that change, just like you want to be the change, make the change. And change happens when we do it from inside out. So there is not much I can say except your life matters, your health matters, and you matter. So you can do those seven steps. And again, text 818-551, uh, sorry, text STOMP to 818-221-2797. And that's my gift to you. An audio recording for you to become a non-smoker, or you can make a call, come in. And I'm here for you for dropping weight, becoming a non-smoker, non-drinker, um, the things that habits that we do and we want to make a shift because we no longer want to continue. I work with children with fears, phobias that they have to working with adults that want to make the change and taking you from pain and giving you the gain in the palm of your hand. So even this habit that we hold on to is understanding. Sometimes it's kinesthetic, sometimes it's oral, other times it's just a behavior that you are ready to make the change with. Again, it's Lisa, your expert hypnotherapist, stress management consultant, always here for you. If there is a topic that you would like me to talk about or bring you information, by all means, let me know. Um, you can even get my book. It's on Amazon. I have plenty of books that it's like self-help books that can help you. And about 12 audio recordings from menopause, from stop smoking, dropping weight, for you to exercise and sleep better, everything that you want, I got for you. So until next week, I want you to know the power to make the change is within you and the decisions that you make. Have an amazing day and God bless you. May the universal light surround you all the time and see you next week. Bye-bye. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.